in theaters. It's time to for real talk. Let's bring in Gress, Greg Russell for a look at some of the movies out this weekend. Hey, well, you have to over here, buddy. You're, you're brilliant. Here. Oh, sorry. Same. What do you think? I, I'm on TV right now. <laughs> Let me call you back. What do you think about oh, texting? No. It's going to light up the whole world. It, it is going right? to light it up. And like you said, it is annoying when you're right. sitting there and, you like, like you said, that light just comes into your eye and sure. you're like, Turn it off. Like you said, there's nothing that right. important. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> or if something's going context. on, maybe you should go to the back row. Right. You right. should just decide. Right. I, that way there's nobody behind me mm -hmm. when it lights up the wall. You know? Right. <laughs> all right. So we're glad you're here. I'm First glad to all, be here morning. always. So we want to talk about uh, what's going on with yeah. three movies this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We got Jungle some good Book? ones coming up. Jungle Book, really good movie. That little Disney company mm -hmm. is involved. Yeah. Yeah. And, they? and they're not disappointing at all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check I, out a clip. All right. Relax, kid. No need to get worked up, okay? Where am I? Uh, this is a cave. It's my cave. You don't remember what happened, do you? No. I saved your life. Yeah, I, I snatched you from the jaws of death, the coils of death, if you will. And lucky for you, your new favorite hero, Old Blue here, just happened to be passing by. Uh, no big deal. Just tell me this. Can you climb? <laughs> <laughs> Recognizable voice is the bear. Who is that? That's Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Yeah. Is the bear. We also have Sir Ben Kingsley in this movie. Wow. Idris Elba. Scarlett Johansson. I, I said that. I, I wanted I to catch Toddy's response. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> My cheeks just went flush. <laughs> so what do you think about the film? It, it's very good. Yeah. Very good. I mean, this is one of the special ones where every critic has nothing but positive things to say. People who have already gone to advanced screenings are in love with this mm -hmm. movie. Um, the little boy who you see in there, Neil Sethi, I had to get his name correct, okay. is the only human really in the movie. Everything else is Everything animated. Everything else is animated. Wow. So wow. you got to give him credit. His acting job took place against a green screen. That's yeah. impressive. And with all these other great voices, I mean, it's all about his story of, you know, all of a sudden being forced out of the jungle and then having to, you know, deal with life and meeting mm -hmm. all these new people. But just, you know, fantastic. So what do you give it out of five reels? Four. Okay. Right. A definite Wonderful. four on this and one. And a family movie. So we're cool there. Yeah, for kids, basically really over the age of 10. Okay. Because okay. there are a lot of, there's some dark scenes, but, you know, it's great. Yeah. They'll right. enjoy it. So now let's take a look at the new film starring Kevin Costner out this weekend. <laughs> yeah. called Criminal? Criminal. Yes. Very kind of special movie uh, about a guy who gets really a new mind or new brain put okay. into his head. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't Him it? Him too? No. Yes. <laughs> Let's take, take, a, take look. a look. <laughs> Only you can help me. Your name is Bill Polk. You're an intelligence officer with the CIA. Intelligence? What's my head? Aspirin is not good for you, but this will help. Billy, we had orders to put a bullet in the Dutchman's head. Right? But you forced oh. the play because you thought you could trust him. You thought you could pay him off. Billy! You put him. Remember! Remember! You got me confused with somebody else. Wow, what a mm -hmm. cast. Tommy Lee Jones, mm -hmm. Gary Oldman, right? Who else? Who is uh, this? Ryan Reynolds is also okay. in it. Of course, Kevin Costner. Yeah. Gal Gadot, the woman who is the new Wonder Woman, who is right. in Batman v Superman. Right. She's in this. And it, it's the whole story. Uh, this isn't giving anything away because I think okay. everybody's seen this. Ryan Reynolds is a CIA operative who winds up getting killed at the beginning of the movie. Okay. But he's got all this knowledge about where some of these spies are in his head. Mm -hmm. So they came up with, or Tommy Lee Jones as a doctor, has this thing where he can take your memories and put them in someone else's mind. Wow. Oh and so Kevin Costner's character had had brain damage or a head injury when he was a kid. So the frontal lobe of his brain was fertile ground. So they, yeah. Wow. It feels intense. I'm yeah. like, what's going to happen next? Right, it I'm is. Out. And they even talk about the fact that, you know, Kevin mentions how his character is this bad guy who now has to become this good guy. Mm -hmm. And for Gary Oldman, he said that it seems so futuristic, but compared to things we know about the past, it's, you know, Maybe just yeah. all going the same way. Because yeah. wow. here's what they told me. Once the other memories begin to kick in, 
you definitely see the change that comes over him. Yeah, well, they, they flood his mind, and, and, we, and we know that people are doing that now in science with, mm -hmm. with, with animals, and, and because of the urgency of this plot point, that, his, that information that has to be extracted from someone who's on life support in order to maybe stop something very, very bad, they're willing to take a chance on a criminal, on somebody who they don't really care if he lives or dies. Mm -hmm. And when I come out of that operation, I, I, I look like Frankenstein a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm, and he doesn't even know it. Mm -hmm. And he's also free. Right. He's spent most of his life in jail. So now you have someone with, that's, that's absorbed CIA mm -hmm. uh, dark intelligence skills right. with a guy who is a thief to begin with. And so mm -hmm. now you've got a very lethal cocktail. And you can only imagine there probably is some type of science now where they possibly could do what they did to Kevin's well, character. I don't rule anything out now. Right. Because um, I remember watching Dick Tracy as a kid mm -hmm. and thinking, oh, I'd love one of those watches, and now we're, 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 we're not very far away, are we now? Oh, no, this, not at all. Vid vid <laughs> video watching. It does have a, a, a future... Futuristic, a futuristic right. element, but it's but it's we've we've tried to ground it in uh, in, in, re in, in, in reality yeah. as much as we can. Wild What's stuff. Good? And how? And it was funny when you had mentioned about you know hearing Gary Oldman's real voice because he's British. He plays the head of the CIA in London, mm. but he's an American. And all of the agents who work for him, who are Americans, were all British actors. Oh my God! It was just yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> but he's so great funny. with that, Commissioner Gordon. Oh, you know, same thing. Got rid of the accent. What's your real review on this? On this one, we'll give it a two. Okay. You know, okay. Kind of strong two. So all it's right. kind of like, okay, you're looking for something to do. You know, this is something check to do. it out. Yeah. All right. So for the third movie out this weekend, Barbershop, the next cut. That's right. All Let's right. kick back now. Check out the clip and get a right. ledge on the back of our head. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always tripping? Hey, you watch your mouth, Jalen. Now, I'm not one of your friends, okay? I don't see why you don't understand how dangerous it is out there and that we don't approve of who you're associating with. What, you want me to hang out with the combo that cleans the shop? What's wrong with Anthony? Why is it corny to be smart? Why is it corny to do what you ask? Why is it corny to handle your business? That's not corny, son. That's being a man. Hmm. Tell him it's cute. Oh, that's for sure. Wow. Yeah. It, it looks good. Very stern father. It is. It's funny. Mm -hmm. It's the third one out of the Barbershop uh, series. Yeah. But the thing I really like about this movie is it takes place in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And it deals with the violence that's going on in the streets on the south side of Chicago. So that's what he's talking to his son about because his son's thinking about possibly getting into a gang oh and just all the other things. So they're putting this message out, they're not preachy, you know, about yeah. it. They're not, like, just constantly throwing it in your face. But it's a good message, and maybe, hopefully, it'll get into the minds, you know, of some folks about, hey, let's just go watch a movie and enjoy ourselves and be yeah. happy. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And you talked to them, too, right? I got to talk to them. And uh, I hope you remember how his son's hair looked, because yeah. mm -hmm. here's a funny part also coming up about that when I got a chance to uh, talk to Ice Cube. <laughs> Obviously, comedy. Mm -hmm. you know, everybody's going to laugh. Mm -hmm. But it's got a very important message. Yeah. That people really need to hear. I think so. You know, we wanted to make sure that we had a, you know, universal message because we think we, you know, got a movie that every audience can enjoy. So the universal message is a father trying to keep his son out the streets. And yeah. I think every parent can relate to that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you wrap that up in a great, funny comedy talking about everybody under the sun mm -hmm. and you got another barbershop movie. And one thing I, I have to ask you, I just thought it was funny, because obviously your son, he's got the dreads, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. and you're yelling at him about the dreads. Of course, we all remember you with the Jerry Curl. Yeah. Did your dad get on you the same way you got on him? Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was like, man, when are you going to cut that stuff? Uh -huh. When are you going to cut it, man? You got juices all on my <laughs> car seat. <laughs> you know, so okay. it was cool. I just told him. Watch out, Pops. You know, ain't yeah. nobody rocking what you used to rock. Right. You know oh, I mean? the it's die the 80s, fried lane to the, the side. 80s, yeah. Got to do it real. I think, yo, I think this movie really dealt with what's going on in the world right now. Right. Like, and what, what people really talk about. And, and we got to hear it like the way you would hear it in a barbershop mm -hmm. or a beauty salon. Right. Because a lot of folks don't know, going to a barbershop is an experience. Oh, I mean, yes, it's, it is. It's like you hit everything. It's like the evening news. You get the news, the weather, the sports, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you get to confess your sins. Yes. <laughs> it's like going to church. It's like going to therapy. It's like going to marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all of that. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. So how many stars for the barbershop sequel? Three. Okay. Definitely okay. three. Like I said, wow. funny, funny movie, but like I said, a great message yeah. in there. That's Good deal. Awesome. And we've got prizes. Oh, Wait, yes, we more. do. What's this? Jungle Book. Uh -huh. We got all types of Jungle Book things. We got the snake, who Scarlett Johansson is. All right. Uh, that's the Christopher Walken character in there. I believe that's the ape. And then this one's for you, Toddy. This What's was Idris that? Elba, the tiger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, you can't get all flushed over a stuffed animal. It's not really him. <laughs> Plus, also passes to go see Barbershop the movie and a couple of Barbershop t shirts as well. And then, for anybody who's just going to be hanging out at home, yeah. also have a Blu ray DVD of the new movie, The Force, which Ooh, is just coming out. Right? So, yeah. yeah, it is. All right. So, watch Good that in stuff. the dark at home. Good Thank to see you. you Hold your well tiger. So. Great seeing yeah. you. Yeah, always. So, for your chance to win, go to the Live in the D Facebook page. Contest rules are posted at clickondetroit.com under the Scene on 4 tab.